Sons of Italy give Antifa brutal warning after Christopher Columbus statues defaced. Italian Americans are proud of their contributions to building the American dream, and the Sons of Italy are fed up with the Antifa thugs defacing statues and exasperated at the liberal politicians kowtowing to those thugs by removing monuments. Idiot Mayor Bill de Blasio is considering removing the famous Christopher Columbus statue in New York City after Antifa started defacing the Italian explorer statue in other major cities. Now, the Sons of Italy are responding with a brutal warning. You don't want to miss this. President Donald Trump was right again when he sarcastically made the point that the Antifa thugs wouldn't stop at only defacing Confederate monuments. Trump told the mainstream media, what's next? Washington, Jefferson. His point is coming true as we see the communist rats target and deface statues of Abraham Lincoln and, now, Christopher Columbus. Liberals have been after Columbus for some time. They've rewritten history, alleging Columbus harmed Native Americans. Liberal cities like St. Paul, Minnesota, and Portland, Oregon, have even changed Columbus Day to Indigenous People's Day, and if you're like most Americans, you see this as a bunch of bullcrap. Italian Americans, like all other Americans who have relatives that immigrated from Europe, built this country. It's just a fact, legal immigration in the 19th century saw the influx of those European immigrants who were the vast majority of our labor force in factories and in construction. Now, with Antifa targeting Columbus, it's alienating Italian organizations like the Sons of Italy and the Knights of Columbus. New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio, an Italian-American, is a turncoat liberal who lies about Columbus. The historical figure of Columbus is complicated, to say the least. There's some troubling things in his history, said de Blasio, according to the New York Post, which goes on to say, the 76-foot structure honoring the explorer at Columbus Circle should be among the statues reviewed by the city for potential purging. Here's the YouTube video which Antifa thugs made, spewing the lies that their liberal professors taught them as they use the cover of darkness, like rats, to vandalize the Christopher Columbus statue in Baltimore. Now, as Columbus statues are being defaced across the country, Sons of Italy President Kevin Kerr has had it, and he relayed a brutal warning about messing with the statues. This is happening everywhere, said Kevin Kerr president of the Sons of Italy's Commission for Social Justice. Kara went on to say that Italian-Americans sometimes get a bad rap over the brutality of the Italian Mafia, but he also warned that Italians aren't to be messed with when it comes to their history. Kara defended Columbus as a great explorer who is not guilty of all of the sins ascribed to him. He's been the target of people claiming he caused all of the ills of the world, that he caused genocide and slavery, Kara said. It's just not true. Another prominent Italian organization, the Knights of Columbus, is irate over the defacing of Columbus. They have funded many statues honoring Columbus and are sick and tired of the liberal elite getting away with this bogus campaign to annihilate American history, using the fascist Antifa as their useful idiots. The vast majority of Americans don't want Christopher Columbus removed from our history. The Baltimore City Council last year considered renaming Columbus Day celebrated in October, as Indigenous Peoples and Italian Americans Day. The bill, which was introduced at the behest of students, failed, reports the Baltimore Sun. It's only a matter of time before patriots are pushed too far and react if this madness with destroying our history keeps up. Not only Italian Americans, but all Americans who make up the silent majority, are getting fed up, and when that reaches the boiling point, Antifa better take heed. They are just pretending to be gangsters, and they'll be wetting their pants if the Sons of Italy and other patriot groups come after them and show them real justice. Thank you for watching this video. What do you think about this? Share this on Facebook and Twitter along with your comments, comments, 